Hello friends, we are going to draw a flowchart to find the maximum in an array, the maximum number in an array. So this is the logical start of the flowchart. I am obtaining the input n from the user input n I am declaring the array with the size n declare a of n Now, I am initializing a loop variable set i equal to 0. I am checking condition here. is true, I am obtaining the input input a of i. If it is I less than n, which is true. Next, I am incrementing i by 1. i equal to i plus 1. I am connecting i back to the decision statement. So i is 0, i less than n, the value of n, and I am obtaining an input from the user, which is true, and incrementing i by 1. The loop will go continuously until i less than n, the values, array values 0 from n minus 1 will get stored here. If it is false, if i less than n is false means, If i less than n is false, false. In such a case, I must initializing i to zero now set i equal to 0, placing value of i equal to 0. Now, i can use n minus 1 when the loop is over. Again, I am initializing i equal to 0. And I am declaring a variable max equal to a of 0. That is 0 element in the array. Max equal to a of 0, that is 0 element in the array. Now I am checking if if i lesser than If i is lesser than n, if it is true, if 
If it is true, I am checking. If, if, A of I greater than the value in the variable max. If it is also true, true, I am incrementing. is true I'm assigning max equal to a of i if a of i greater than max is true I'm assigning max equal to a of i now I'm incrementing i by 1 i equal to i plus 1. I am connecting this back to the, the outer loop. If a of i greater than max is true, then max equal to a of i, I am incrementing i equal to i plus 1, i by 1 and I am connecting it back to the outer loop, it will check again i less than n and it will check a of i that means incremental value of i is greater than max if it is true then max equal to a of i when this loop is over the maximum element of the array will get stored in the variable max if it is false a of i greater than max is false means false means so i am skipping this assignment and Connecting it back to the increment of the loop variable i. If i less than n is false and the loop is over, I am printing the maximum element max. So here I am printing print value in the variable max. Print Max, the maximum element of the array will get printed and this is the logical end of the flowchart that is stop. So this is the loop, I am setting i equal to 0, max equal to a of 0, that means 0 element and if i less than n is true, I am checking a of i greater than max. If it is true, I am assigning a value of a of i to the max and incrementing the loop variable and connecting it back to the outer loop. If a of i greater than max is false means I am bypassing this assignment because this is false. Then I am incrementing the loop variable i plus 1 and connecting it back to the outer loop. So when complete loop is over, the maximum element in the array will get stored in the variable max and i less than n is false. When i less than n is false, that means when i reaches the value n, the loop is over the value in the variable max will get printed and this is the logical stop of the flowchart. Now we will take a sample input and check how this flowchart works. So input n This is an workspace input n for n I am assigning value 3. Declare a of n. I am declaring a variable a of size 3. Okay, that means this is the array which contains size 3. That means this is. 0th next question, this is first next question, this is second next question, the array name is A. Set i equal to 0, I am initializing the loop variable i equal to 0, 
I am checking if i less than n. That means n is 3, 0 lesser than 3, which is true. I am inputting input a of i, that means input a of 0. So, input a of 0, I am giving a value 2. Incrementing i by 1, i equal to i plus 1, my i is become 0 plus 1, which is equal to 1. Now I am comparing i less than n. I am comparing 1 less than 3 which is true input a of i. So input a of i means now it is i is 1, a of 1. a of 1 I am assigning value 3. I am incrementing i by 1, i equal to i plus 1. So my i value i equal to existing value of i plus 1 which is equal to 2. Now, I am checking i less than n. So, 2 less than 3 which is true. Then, we come to this case, input a of i, input a of 2. I am assigning a value 1. I am assigning a value 1. i equal to i plus 1. That means, i equal to 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3. So, 3 less than 3 is false. 3 less than 3 is false, it will come out of this loop and come to this place. When i less than n is false, you come to this place, set i equal to 0. i equal to 0, max equal to a of 0. Max equal to a of 0. a of 0, the value is 2. Max equal to 2. We come here, to check i less than n. 0 less than 3 which is true. We check a of i greater than max. So what is a of i? The value is i value is 0, a of 0. That means value of a of 0 greater than max. Okay. 0 greater than max. So a of 0 value is 2, max is 2 which is false. So here this false if you come here and incrementing i by 1, i equal to 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1. Okay, now we check i less than n. 1 less than 3 which is true. We will check a of i greater than max. That means a of well, i value i is 1. a of 1 greater than max. So, what is the value of a of 1? a of 1 value is 3 greater than the value of the variable max is 2, which is true. In such a case, max equal to a of i. So, here it assign max equal to a of 1. So, a of 1 the value 3. 3 will assign to max. So, max equal to 3 now. Now I am computing i by 1. i equal to existing value of i is 1. 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. Okay. We will check i less than n. That means 2 less than 3 which is also true. And we will come here and check a of i greater than max. So what is the value of a of i? A of i value is 2. Okay, A of 2 greater than max. What is the value in the A of 2? A of 2 value is 1. So 1, what is the value in the max? Max is 3. 1 greater than 3 which is false. So we take a false root, incrementing i by 1. i equal to 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3. We we'll come here and compare i less than n. So, i value is 3 less than n value is 3 which is false. Okay, which is false here. Okay, false. In this case, we come out and print max. So, what is the value in the variable max? Which is 3. So, my output, output will print the value of the max. That means 3. So, I have given 2, 3, 1 in the array and the maximum value 3 is getting printed 
this flow chart is working perfectly thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel share comment and press the bell button thank you